My next guest, Larry Gatlin, is here tonight. Janice and I, we moved to Nashville in 1971, and we were broke. We were sitting there one night in our little house, in our little den, watching our little TV. And we got a phone call. On the other end of the line was an old boy named J.D. Sumner. The news was the fact that the king himself, Elvis Presley, had just recorded two of my songs. Having Elvis Presley record two of your songs is a big deal. You know what I'm saying? The next day, Janice and I went out and bought a big old house. I ain't kidding you. Back in 86, the elevator opened, and there was Patrick Swayze. I said, Patrick Swayze? I said, I love your acting. He said, Larry Gatlin, I love your songs and your singing. I said, let's be friends. He stuck out his hand and said, we already are. My favorite Roger Miller story. I'd stay with Roger when we'd go out to do The Tonight Show and Merv Griffin and all that stuff. He said, hey, Gatlin, you want to go to Streisand's house? I said, yeah. Well, we finally got to Barbara Streisand's house. And uh, she told me about this song of mine that she wanted to do, and she just could not have been nicer. I remember meeting and having Larry Gatlin, yeah, come over to my house. It was such a thrill to have him play it, and I loved the way he sang and, and so forth. Nineteen years ago, my cell phone rang, I answered it. This big booming voice said, Pilgrim? That's what Johnny Cash called me for 30 years, folks. I said, hello, JR, how are you? He said, I'm fine, Pilgrim. Miss June ain't doing too good. Brother Steve and Brother Rudy and I were very honored to be asked to sing at June's going away party. She's a heck of a gal. I miss her every day, I really do. It was barely five months later I was very honored to be asked to help carry my friend, my buddy, my big brother, Johnny Cash, to his final earthly resting place. How many of you know where you were? November 14th, 1989. We were supposed to sing the national anthem at 5.08, and at 5.04, the world started shaking. But they asked us back 10 days later uh, to sing the national anthem. So watch this. Can you see by the dawn's early light? Thank you. Thank you. You may be seated. And you know what? None of it would have happened without nice people like you. I'm serious. The brothers and I come from very humble beginnings. Our daddy was an oil field worker in West Texas. And uh, we just do not take it lightly that people like you spend your hard-earned money to come hear us and do something we love to do. You are part of this. <laughs>